So I started more than 10 years ago trying to answer some simple questions in golf. And after analyzing millions of shots, I found it was really the long game that explained the majority of the advantage of the better players. And that was a surprise to many players. When the margins are so slim, you have to have that bit of insight, the analysis and data and information to gain that uh, knowledge of where you're actually going a little bit wrong. The job of an analytics person is to synthesize the data. You can take a look at a golfer's signature. Where are they gaining and losing strokes to try and figure out where is it most important to put those precious practice hours to work. If you know that from 100 yards and in with your wedges that you're 78th on the PGA Tour, you better go work on your wedge game if you want to get to number one. So one of the flaws with traditional golf stats is you can have one player who hits a shot and it ends on the green 60 feet from the hole. Another player hits a shot on the green, ends up three feet from the hole. They both count as a green in regulation, but strokes gained would show that the approach shot that ends three feet from the hole is much better. The key is to measure progress to the hole in terms of strokes, not just whether or not you hit the green. Analyzing the data, I think, is one thing I didn't do very well going into 12. This time we're being a little more analytical, whether it's a statistical thing that we can learn, something we can learn from the past. Looking at individual players' strengths and weaknesses is one thing, but at the Ryder Cup you can look at the pairings and see how do these go together and which are the best pairings to make to give the team these incremental advantages that could help them win. My relationship with Lee Westwood and myself going through the Ryder Cup, I think our record for Europe was second only to Seve and, and Jose Maria Lazaba. Because we travel the world together, because we know each other inside out, that's what made our pairing very strong. Any team preparing to play another team tries to gain an advantage somehow. We need to be aware that there are some tricks. Um, I probably do, but none I'm willing to share right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, Davis and I, we make some decisions along with our vice captains. It's up to the players. We can only do so much. Course setup and the decisions around how wide to make the fairways, how long to make the holes, could be used to give the home team an edge. We will analyze our team as we get closer and ask the PGA of America, well, maybe we don't want quite as much rough as you think, or maybe the par threes shouldn't be 225, maybe they should be more like 200. Um, we'll certainly try to make our players feel like we set it up for them. Analysis has become a much more important part of the modern day game. but the Ryder Cup is like no other tournament. You just pull together, and that's what makes it even better come the end of the week.